Kill about this. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from us coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. So let's talk about these failure rates that we see with because I've seen a few videos. Harley guys are uploading uh, videos about how great the new cam pump plate is from Screaming Eagle. They're you know claiming that they haven't seen one fail. They're claiming that Fueling and SNS are the ones that are typically come in with failed pumps. And what they're not telling you is these are DIY guys that are not checking their crank runout. This, I, I said it in my videos. I've, I've posted it many times on TikTok, of course, on my TikTok videos. But for some reason, people just don't understand what is going on with my bike. I just installed a... $800 cam and, and pump and uh, it's it failed after 500 miles what is going on I have a brand new M8 Milwaukee 8 uh, uh, Harley and for some reason my my cam or my crank or you know one of those things is failing after a few miles so let's go ahead and read this description of course I am currently sick uh, I've been trying to fight this cold uh, for a few days. So got a major issue with my SNS 132 power pack on my 2023 Street Bob 114. That's impressive. Uh, I used uh, I used the SNS 550, which is a high lift cam. Uh, cam plate, oil pump lifters, quickie push rods, and heavy duty valve springs, which is everything that you have to change when you go above 500 lift. So you have the 475, which they're, they're called uh, drop-in uh, cams. Anything below 500, uh, you could you know you could drop it in without changing your uh, your 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 springs, your valve springs. So this is why he had to go ahead and put in a heavy-duty valve springs. This is just something that you have to do with the uh, with the uh, with uh, Milwaukee Eight. Harley is using a inferior uh, valve springs. So. Was supposed to be an easy upgrade, smooth break in, but at 500 miles, the cam bushing failed in the cam plate, sending brass shooting throughout my motor, which is uh, a little scary because if that gets into your lifters or if somehow that debris gets pushed up into your heads, then of course, you know, it's going to get really, really bad. Uh, where were we? Uh, through my motor, pulled everything, cleaned oil cooler. Lines, uh, oil pan, cam chest, installed another 550 cam, cam plate oil pump lifters, flushed uh, the oil five times over the next 500 miles to make sure everything was flushed as well as possible. At 1,000 mile final tune, it failed again. What is going on? What Man, you're doing all this work and you have no idea about the crank run out? This is just nuts. Uh, what you guys don't know is the Milwaukee 8... Harley Davidson, the the new cam plate is a softer alloy. It's a softer alloy, and they removed the brass bushing. This is something that they did in two thousand nine. They did that because the runout is beyond five thousands from factory. I have seen brand new Harleys with low miles. We're talking, uh, I think, uh, what was it, eight hundred miles? Eight hundred miles. Uh, yeah, 800 miles with 10,000s run out, guys. Or was it 9,000s? It's, you know, high enough. It's, it's, it's a high amount. So, technically, due to the Harley Davidson's tolerance uh, and, of course, the softer alloy that they're using in their cam plates, because, like I said, they're no longer using the brass bushing, uh, that's given them, of course, some tolerance and some leeway to have these high crank run outs. Which is causing this issues. This is why when you see the Harley guys or the Harley Tech guys, uh, you know, talk about how often they see the SNS or the fueling uh, cam plates fail, it's because of this exact reason. Because people are not measuring the crank runout. You're not supposed to install one of these uh, these these billet uh, uh, cam plates with, especially with the you know with the brass bushing, because it's a stiffer. It's a stiffer cam plate. It doesn't have uh, the the softness of Harley's OEM, so it doesn't allow for you know that run out to to uh, to dig into their OEM cam plate, and that's why 
like I said, they made it out of a softer alloy and they removed the brass bushing so you can have that tolerance of 10 thousandths because Harley's that's what Harley's allowing it. So if you have a if you if you have a Harley Davidson, of course, and you're having the similar issue and it's above 10 thousands, then it's under warranty. I believe that if I remember correctly, if it's 10,000 or 12 thousands, then, you know, they, they won't replace your crank or they won't replace anything. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, I've seen brand new M8s with this issue. As long as it's, uh, I believe, 10 thousands run out, then it's not covered under warranty and that is fine. So if you want to put a cam plate in your in your bike and you have more than 5 thousands run out, you'll have to <laughs> replace your crank and get something that's, you know, true or under 5,000 run up. Let's see what else. I was just wondering if anybody, if anyone else has in, has encountered this issue with the with this upgrade. SNS is scratching their heads and getting measurements on the rest of the bike. Hopefully uh, this will help out some labor, two failures back to back. But have you guys seen any of the crank run out? It's still one and a half thousands after the second failure of the cam. Oh, I, you know what? I, I think he added this. I believe he added this. What is going on? This is now bizarre. Crank run out is still one and a half thousands after the second failure. Um, hey, maybe I'm wrong. What is going on with this? Uh, let's go ahead and see. Let's look at some of the answers. Yeah, so a, a lot of the answers is crank run out. Crank run out. Uh, crank run out was almost perfect. The same issue bike had only what? So this guy also had what is uh, almost perfect numbers in the case is very important. Uh, all, almost don't measure up. The crank run out was too high. It looks like it would have destroyed the crank uh, bushing on the cam plate also. Let's just read a few of these comments. I'll make it uh, six out of seven comments relating to crank run out, except I will tell you your crank run out is beyond the, the spec of the SNS cam plate way out. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it's nobody. Like I said, people, it looked like he added this little bit at the at the end right here. Crank run out uh, still one and a half thousandths after the second failure. That is, I don't know what's going on. So maybe I'm wrong, but hey, if you're doing an install of this sort and you're not checking your crank run out because you have a brand new Harley, you're making a big mistake. Uh, is Harley cam bearing? Uh, did he swap out drag specialties cam bearing? Okay, so it looks like he did swap out the cam bearing. Uh, what is this guy? I agree the crank run out is critical, but if I were out... I think you would see issues in your uh, pinion shaft. Uh, yeah, I guess you would, right? Because that's connected to your crank. Not the top, right? Look at what the cam sprocket run out. Chewed out. Okay, so yeah, there are, there's also, of course, have you guys seen my install, how you check for uh, the spacing between the cam and the crank, the pinion shaft. Uh, I believe it's under what is it? Two thousands? Is that is that whatever the spacer? Your uh cam uh your cam spacer. Obviously, they not check the crank run out. Uh, everybody's saying the same thing. That's what I that's what I thought it was the issue. Try screaming eagle plate and pump if you're uh pump it give you more tolerance if you're over five thousand. SNS is not for you. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that was a little. That's a little rough. I check crank run out. Also, make sure you're using the correct valve springs for your. Well, he said that he's using a heavy duty uh, valve springs because it's over 500 lift. Uh, practically everyone saying crank run out are totally missing it here. His crank bushing is fine. It took out the cam bushing. Think about what is happening. If the end of the pinion shaft were wobbling around, why is the lower bushing in the pick? fine uh, the one actually in contact with the crank everyone is mentioning to their notorious run out issues and even if you had some run out the cam chain is going to absorb those relative small isolations even if you had point uh, or two or three thousands run out and say miraculously it didn't smoke the crank bushing the that's nothing for the cam chain to soak up. Smart money is 
one valve train issue. Something solid is not giving and it's transferring back down all the way to the camshaft and taking out the cam bushing. Valve springs shimmed too much, which is something that I believe uh, Marvel 87 did. Uh, the 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 the, uh, the rocker bushings right shimmed out too much or just barely coiled bind, binding maybe some radical maybe some radical too stiff springs may mispackaged use while the uh, well that would not directly eat up the bushing it would contribute to their overall load on it if SNS is scratching their head truly it is because they're smart enough to catch that it, it has nothing to do with the crank they can't play it off on that cause the crank bushing is fine all right so hey i'm wrong uh, or maybe he updated it like i said i believe you i read this a few days ago this was of course posted two days to the m8 uh only group and uh my you know my first imp impression was to make this video and give you guys a warning on um on not checking your crank run out so word of the year 2023 crank run out everyone learns a new term and thinks they are experts uh, i got the i got the 475 cam my dyno guy couldn't dial it in we took it out and he used his micrometer and the lobe of on the cam was off had to take the whole thing apart and we went uh with doesn't new install new cam it runs awesome all right, so this guy's claiming that the cam was off on his 475. Oh, man, that, that would suck. That would absolutely suck if that was the case, especially if you're, you know, spending all this money with $1,500. I just did a cam and a twin cam for a guy because his timing wasn't right. The dots on the inner cam gears were off. But you know what? That's, that's, uh, that's nuts. But wait a minute. He said he dropped in a new cam, right? In the description, he said it dropped in a different 475 cam. Was it a 475? Uh, what else do we have here? So yeah, we have crack runout. I'm sure. I'm sure SNS first claimed that it was cause the out of spec crack runout. But if SNS is scratching their heads and seems to be working with the original poster, they probably don't want to admit to an issue with their plate. <laughs> Which is very concerning for someone who is spending thousands of dollars and, you know, eight hours, nine hours worth of labor. This is your second time. You're not looking at 20 hours of labor. Uh, yeah, that would suck immensely. So let's just look at a few more and then we'll just call it a day. Sounds like a bad crank run out. So, yeah, same thing. There's a bunch of comments here. Uh, I'd be suspicious of the heavy duty valve springs since it's a cam bearing failure, not the crank bearing on the cam plate. So people are saying the, the valve springs are probably the issue. So, you know, some of these folks are claiming that the cam itself might be machined improperly, which I guess it could be. Here's somebody at my crank run out, uh, crank run out was at 7,000 at 21,000 miles, went in for a cam upgrade came out with a new crank motor hd quality gotta love it uh yeah that's pretty much uh you know on point yeah i mean once you get to closer to the ten thousands run out man that's you know that's long miles but uh eventually you'll have to uh you know swap out your crank i mean once you're at ten thousands run out once you're once you're at ten thousands run out there's you know that crank uh, it, it's it's getting closer to the end of its life and you know you should probably swap out your your crank once it once it gets up there it is what it is guys harley davidson's doing a lot of you know their uh yeah their, their build quality is not the same since, since uh 2009 uh your push rod adjustment is wrong maybe bottom it out the lifter smashing down the bushing could that be it could the the could the 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 quickie push the quickie push rod be the issue i don't know you guys can share your thoughts down below maybe you guys have something that you guys can share in the comments for maybe someone who's having the similar issue if you guys can you know share that that would be great information maybe you guys have dealt with something similar what is going on it sounds like a crank run out above ten thousand, whereas the sns pump pump and plate as well 
as the fueling plates don't like anything above five thousands. So, I mean, if you're having this issue and your 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 pump, your plate goes out in five hundred miles, if this was me, I'm not putting this thing back in. I'm putting the OEM one. All right, my crank runout measured at five thousands. All right, if I was having this issue, man, that would suck. But if I was having this issue, I would I would 100% use a OEM, a OEM because there's obviously something's up. Yeah, I I don't know if it's a crack run out or or what the heck's going on. But uh, anyways, here let's see what this is. Crack run out was almost perfect. The same issue had the had the had with bike, had with mine. Bike had only 15 uh 1500 kilometers. Here, let's let's just check this video real quick. Let's see what this guy. Wow, that absolutely sucks. You guys see that? Is is this a? What the heck is going on? That is scary. That is very scary for someone who. Who installed their own cam and uh, cam plate and pump? Uh, what is almost perfect numbers in the case very important. Almost don't measure up. Crank runouts two thousands. Man, could this be? I mean, this could also be a, a manufacturing issue. You know, uh, it, it it that could be a that could be a possibility. Maybe there's a handful of these uh, these plates out there that have a defect. Uh, let's just read a few of these comments. What was the run out after the problem? Major issue. Stock cranks can stock cranks can scissor and run out with degraded rapidly if stressed with performance mods. Yes, I know that, but you but you're talking to the wrong guy. It's not mine. Wait, okay, so this is in his video. Wait a minute. No, that's not the no. Uh late uh Lafa late night post. I figured the original guy would see it and respond. Whatever. All right, so he was trying to get this guy's uh, this guy's attention to kind of figure out what's going on. But man, that is that is brutal. Imagine doing all that work, spending eight hundred bucks just for it to fail after fifteen uh, hundred kilometers. That is very scary, guys. I don't know. I'm 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 worried about mine now, man. What's going on? What? Shoot, can mine fail? Anyways, but I, sorry guys, I thought I had an answer for this. I would obviously suggest checking your crank run out before doing this. But, uh, man, this guy's saying, look at this, one, one and a half thousands. That's tighter than mine. That's, that's way better. I mean, I, I don't know how often we have seen this issue. So far, there's been two people, three people claiming that they've had this issue. So... I don't know. You guys can leave your comments down below. Will, will, will you buy a Screaming Eagle uh, cam plate instead and avoid this issue? Because this is this is very frightening. I mean, this is a lot of money we're talking about. You know, thousands of dollars in parts and labor. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching yet another video. If you have a 2020 and newer M8, maybe don't swap out your cam plate. <laughs> all right don't swap it out this guy does have like i said he does have a 132 so i i don't know i mean man that sucks anyways thanks for tuning in life's a risk get out there and ride later